of the Empire State Building. We are Z100 New York's number one hit music station. I'm Crystal. This is Maxwell. And we have mm. someone very exciting in the building with, with mom. Don't forget mom. We're here. <laughs> twin. Copy and paste. Maggie Lindemann. Hey! hey. What up? Thank you start? so much for being here. Yeah, thanks for having me. Come on now. Always. You're fam. Um, yes. This is... This is nothing new to you. Uh, selling out shows, performing. Being in New York. Being in New York. <laughs> yeah, but um, gosh, man, this is a, a time to let this new album, this um, this Sucker Punch, really, you know, sucker punch us all up in the face with yeah. bringing us to life. And I feel like, I think we had a chance to chat on uh, Twitter not too long ago on our Twitter live and doing some yeah. things like that. But bringing this album to life, what's it feel like? Because this is a... Uh, this is a different sound that <laughs> yeah. most people, you know, maybe know you for. Yeah. Um, I don't know. It's just been cool. It's been fun. Um, I enjoy this music so much. And, yeah. Like, performing has such a different feel now than, you know, what I did, like, however many years ago, five That's years cool. ago. Uh, and I don't know. I'm just having, like, a lot of fun. It just feels like the energy at the shows and everything feels so different. Like, it's just so fun. Well, your fans were still and are still so obsessed with your EP, Paranoia. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I was seeing some interviews from your past and everyone was just like, we cannot wait for Sucker Punch. Yeah. Like, this is going to be the album. There was so much anticipation from your fans and mm -hmm. now it's here. Like, I feel like they're writing for you more than ever. Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, I'm on, so I'm on my first headlining tour right now. So it's like my first time. Like, I've done festivals. I've, like, yeah. opened for people and stuff. But Well, not just festivals. Like, the first time you popped out on stage was, like, in front of 90 damn thousand yeah. people, man. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That was, okay, that was that crazy. Was but, yeah. uh, that was different. But, um, I don't know. It's, like, my first time doing my own headlining tour. So, it's, like, all these people are here for just me. So, yeah. it's, like, a different feeling to see, you know, that energy. So, it's just been crazy to see the people that like genuinely want to come watch me and not only is it for you it's for a, a true sense of who maggie is it's it's really this is the music that you've always wanted to perform and create yeah. and and generate to have so many people love what we're getting in this chapter of the book what does that mean to you uh everything like just to be able to create this type of music and for people to like it yeah. <laughs> and actually listen to it and yeah, it's just a crazy feeling, and uh, it was, like, scary getting into it because it's, like, do I want to go too dark? Do I want to go too rock? Do I want to go too, like, whatever the feelings when I was mm -hmm. making it, I was, like, nervous because I'm, like, you know, I still want people to like it, and I still want people to listen to it, and I just went with what I felt like was right and what I like, and people are liking they like it. You. So it's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Genuine. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fam. Go exactly on. why they're liking it. And I've I've heard you say that when you're having conversations with people you might not know or just on the surface level, you you keep it chill. Like you're not gonna dive too into it. But yeah. your music is where that is. Yeah. Your album, I love the song I'm so lonely with you because mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of us had felt that way where we're with someone and we're like, what's going on? Like we're yeah. in the same room but we've miles apart yeah how do you react in, in those situations are you someone that's going to confront someone when there's an issue or are you just going to kind of like um i do i am actually very confrontational in that sense like i will confront an issue with that specific one like being lonely in a relationship like no mm -hmm. that's something i'll just like end up like we're breaking up but um <laughs> like if there is an issue if i'm like oh i don't like that you did this like i will say something i'm very like I like to talk things out. I'm very like conversation. Like, let's have a conversation. Let's like. Where do you, know, you learn that from? I think just like being in relationships and being in friendships and just like seeing what works for me and like what doesn't work. And um, I've just noticed like throughout my life, yeah. I'm I don't like holding things in. Like, if I keep something in and I don't talk about it, I'm gonna. It's just gonna eat me up inside. Like, I'm gonna not feel good. I'm gonna be upset. So I would rather just talk it out and like work out the situation than just like holding it in and then letting it fester to like a later date and then it all comes being out. able to you know tap into your heart tap into some of these emotions tap into these you know different you know chambers of your brain even and to create music based off of these emotions and then to perform them and watching other people take these songs that you've created because of a particular maybe conversation a confrontation or not or, or whatever have a meaning but then other us as fans we gravitate towards them for our own meaning as a songwriter how how sick is that you know what i mean to see that happen in front of your face to these sold out crowds 
She's like, they're blowing me up oh already. Oh, my they're God. Like, I don't know. I, when do I ever have my volume? Like, <laughs> what? Like, literally, You're what? Fine. Who's that? Who's calling us? <laughs> I don't even know. Oh, <laughs> it's, it's sick brain. Um, uh, uh, <laughs> Hold on. You just dropped a name. It's sick brain. <laughs> Sicky. Um, but, uh, no, it's crazy. It's, um, I don't know. Like, people will come up to me in meeting greets and be like, oh, this song, like, helped me through this. And maybe yeah. it's it, it'll be something that's, like, oh this song helped me through a breakup or this song helped me through like a friend breakup or like whatever it is and maybe to me when i wrote that song it had a completely different meaning so yeah. it's cool to see how people take the music and like just associate it to their own lives and how it can help that's how rad art is things. you know that's what's so cool about you know expression is that you know you get the opportunity to you know pour yourself out and and, and we you know to stay with this analogy we, we drink it in and we take you know it, it's, it's it's our own flavor to it it's, it's yeah. the way that we get to interpret it so yeah, yeah. to be out there rocking out and seeing like yeah so many people sweating it out yeah you know what <laughs> I mean? just going crazy it's got to be like the funnest feeling on stage oh my god the shows are literally so fun like i was just saying we we were just in um boston and that was like the craziest shit. like yeah that was so crazy they were moshing and <laughs> like my Yo. my dream in music and my shows it was to always have like people mosh to my music it is like, that was like a goal it's like if someone just moshes so the fact that they were moshing and like Oh my god, it's just like the craziest thing. You're like, it's so are. great. Like, ah, you are. so cool. Oh my god. <laughs> That's so cool, so cool to it's see. It's, it's, so, it's cool. so fun yeah. to see the development and especially your art coming through life. I love watching like all the imagery you do on Instagram, your photo mm -hmm. shoots, your aesthetic. Um, and what I love is that you're just gonna do what you do. You've talked about it before. You got a little backlash on Sucker Punch the cover. Yeah. Some people were <laughs> hating on it, but you're like, I don't care. I liked it. I thought it was cool. Yeah. Yeah, I think with that, like uh in my video shoots and just in general like obviously i want to look pretty like i want to look good whatever but i think when i do um like for the for the cover art mm -hmm. i wasn't my goal wasn't oh i want to look pretty and put together because like the album's not pretty and put together like there's so many different things going on i wanted it to feel chaotic and i wanted it to feel like a lot going on so that's why i did that cover art and my goal was just to make it look cool like i wasn't thinking like oh i would need to like you know look yeah, a certain way yeah. like i was like it's a rock album like i i'm not pretty and put together all the time so and speaking of your rock album i told you this when i first saw you that you're you're your own sound right now which is not the wave of everyone else you're doing your own thing like how how hard is that do you feel pressured or kind of nervous because you're like i don't know if these songs will will get to where i want it to get how do you feel about all that yeah definitely i feel like sometimes i get into that and i feel like should I go this far left? Like, yeah. should I do this? It's it's kind of, like, far off. No, Yeah, like, no one's really... I don't know what lane this would fit in. And I'll, like, think about that sometimes. But I think, ultimately, if I feel like a song is cool and I like the song, I'm going to do it. And if it's not received well, then it's like, well... Well, it, it, but whatever. But. Your heart, your heart is full. Uh, and, and I was, I was searching because I, I know that there is a picture, a particular song in an artist, and uh, I just want to, I want to play this just for a little bit. Somebody who paved her own lane, <laughs> who went her own direction, who creates music that makes her feel the way that it makes her feel special. As I play this, Billie Eilish, love this. This is I've heard. Friend told me. Somebody said. <laughs> Your favorite song, pretty much of all time, yo. Um, oh my God, yes. To know that you're able to create and pave your own lane and um, and do it now, like in your terms, you know what I mean? Like, what is, what does that feel like as, yeah, as an artist to just say, you know what, damn, I'm just trying to do and be my best self at this point in time. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just doing what feels right. I honestly didn't even know I was making stuff that sounded that different. Like, I didn't really... Yeah. <laughs> until people were kind of told me, like, oh, you're really... Like, your music doesn't sound like anyone else's. I was like, oh, like, cool. I, I like that. Like, that's cool. Yeah. But it wasn't, like, intentional. I was just doing... I'm just doing stuff that, like, sounds good to doing me you? and that I like. And I like so many different genres. So I'm just kind of, like, blending what I like together. But... If it was cool, like, I Let's feel like go. that's, like, the biggest compliment <laughs> yeah. you could get as an artist that, like, you're making something that sounds different. I mean, all my favorite artists, like, Billy, Lana, like, there's so mm. many people that I look up to. Melanie Martinez that, like, started their own thing. So, that's, like... Did you hear Melanie's 
new album she just yes, dropped. Oh, yeah. Like, crazy like, topics that she talks about in there. Yeah, I mean, she's like the craziest songwriter ever. She's so cool. But like all those people, like they really did create their own lane. So that's like such an honor to. What do you think it would, or what would it mean to you to know that some of those people who you named that you're a fan of are fans of you? Well, that's that would be sick. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Think and, about that. I mean, cool. yeah. yeah. <laughs> How have you have you given your yourself the opportunity to to be? And, and I ask this a lot, and because I, I really love uh, the the idea. Do you have you have you given yourself the ability to to say, "Damn, I'm proud of myself." You know? Oh yeah, definitely. I think like well, when I finished Paranoia, I felt really proud of myself. Like I was like this i i finally like created something that felt really good to me yeah and it took a really long time to like get to a point where i was able to even make something like that so i was really proud of myself after paranoia and then when i finished sucker punch i just felt like like it just all came together i was so all over the place during the making of sucker punch because i just i didn't want everything to sound like paranoia and i didn't want everything to sound the same i really wanted to do stuff that was different so when i finally like listened to it from start to finish i was like this is it. Yeah, this is it. Okay, cool. You nailed it. You and nailed now it. everyone gets to see it in person. You're here in New York to show all your fans everything that you've been <laughs> working on. You get a ticket. <laughs> all right. <Damn. laughs> um, we mentioned that you. This is like a second home to you. You love coming to New York. Yeah. You've been coming since you're a little squirt. Yeah. What are some of your favorite New York memories? Oh God! Uh, I remember riding the subway for the first right. time. That was <laughs> the yeah. like yeah. okay. Y'all are like, yeah, we hate doing that, but no, like, but... I was so hyped to do that for the first time. Um, I remember like the first time we ever came with my mom, my with my parents. Like, uh, that was when Fao Schwartz had the, there you go had the uh, Ferris. Ferris wheel, yep. and I that was like the coolest thing Got ever. I did it. that, yeah, well, there so you I go. did that. But yeah, just like uh, you know, some of my good friends are here and. Like we go to like the meatball shop and oh uh, yeah, dude! Shout I love that place. Shop. I love that Yo. place. Like the terrible comedy clubs in <laughs> Times Square. Like, just yeah, random I, just things. random things you do, you know. Yeah, so yeah. we love you being here. Yeah. Thank you so much for taking time. We know you're busy, but course, we're having mom you. came through as well. Your yeah, twin, mom's here. Copy and paste. Um, <laughs> how fun is it going on tour with mom? Well, so she just got here yesterday, uh -oh. so she hasn't even seen a show yet. Uh oh. So well, New York is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> New York is the first one, so it's like she had to be here. This is the biggest show yeah. of the tour, so she had to be here, and then she's gonna stay with me till Atlanta. So she's gonna kind of be on. Do you feel better me. that she's here? Oh my god, yes! I get like really um in my head during tour, so to have my mom here is like. Yeah really helpful i know she was making sure you're all good like honey your hair you i know it's like before? fixing my hair and stuff <laughs> oh yeah that's, what, yeah. that's how yeah, they are right. that's what moms <laughs> do uh, i mean yeah like crystal said congrats on you're talking sold out shows you're talking there's not a ticket Thanks. available damn near anywhere you're bringing your music you're doing you and people are resonating and it goes back to what we had said throughout this entire conversation it's just that genuine mm -hmm. maggie lindeman that's yeah. that's you know what i mean and and not that there was any disingenuous stuff you know prior but it's you found what yeah um what means the most in your heart and and thank you for being willing to go there to challenge yourself to do that <laughs> to uh step out on that ledge and do things that some people may have thought were unconventional but damn it yeah. it's it's who you are and, and and now you can't get a ticket to the <laughs> and show many more shows here in new <laughs> york city you. right oh yeah. yes oh for sure of course always congratulations yeah. inside of our grub yeah. hub yes. interview lounge here at z100 yeah. thank you so much yeah you. thank you guys from the top of the Empire State Building. C100.